crazy bro what's going on you guys how y'all doing today so we now have the full exhaust in and the ecu everything is completely installed so we can finally start this bike up and i'm going to be giving you guys the first true proper cold start so i did take it around my area a little bit yesterday just to make sure everything's working properly and that everything is good with the exhaust tune everything i've installed basically i just want to do a whole drive once over just to make sure everything's solid before i make a official video so i haven't driven it more than 10 15 minutes so i want to give this bike a proper first ride today and uh show it to you guys as well because i don't think you're ready for how loud this bike is like once i turn this thing on i'm gonna start laughing and screaming so without further ado let me start this thing up It's crazy, you guys. And this didn't come with no baffle or anything like that. Literally just open. <laughs> but it's race track use only, so I'm okay. <laughs> Dude, just this idle is so nasty. Like, listen. I do not know how it's going to pick up on the bike. Hopefully not too bad. But I'm going to let this thing warm up for a little bit and then go take it out on the road. So I'll check back in with you guys in, I guess, a few seconds. But for me, like 10 minutes. I don't know how well this is going to pick up because it is that loud. But <laughs> hopefully it's not too bad. <laughs> Like, <laughs> listen to that, you guys. Dude. This is going to make so many people mad. That's, this spike is insane. This spike is actually ridiculous, you guys. I hope I see some of you guys at a meet <laughs> so you guys can actually understand how loud it is so you can see this bike in person. It is ridiculous, you guys. Oh, I see another biker over there. But, yeah, this bike is... Ooh. That looks sick. This thing is a monster, you guys. Just wait, let me get on it a little bit. You'll understand. So, the official first ride on my full exhaust and fully modded and tuned Yamaha R6. Oh, what is this guy doing? I don't even want to put in my earplugs. I just want to enjoy how ridiculous this is. Which I'm probably going to regret it. But it's okay. Listen, somebody go to first. Dude, it literally sounds like my ear is inside of the slip-on. And even though I did the block-off plates, so if you guys haven't seen the other videos, I just did block-off plates, I did an air filter, I tuned it, and then I did headers with the slip-on. So it's a full exhaust. It's Agropovich headers to an SC project. 
titanium slip-on. So it really doesn't get louder than this, if we're being honest. so crazy loud and with the block off bites I wasn't expecting it to pop at all uh, they do any of the burbles backfires nothing like that but this bike when I let off the throttle or downshift it actually still pops and yesterday on my quick little ride it had a pop which I swear had to be a flame it was so loud it sounded like a cannon just shot like listen to it through the RPM ranges like right there it sounds like it's in like some like pit limiter or like launch control. I hope it picks up these burbles. It pops, but I know it won't. I really like it because it still sounds really natural and pure. Like this bike just sounds straight like a race bike right now. Downshifts. Oh! Dude, the pops on the downshifts are crazy. Imagine if I hit that rock. It's not been a nice day. I broke those guys' necks. They were looking. Because <laughs> this thing idles like insanely loud. Like the idle on this bike. It's literally louder than the stock system on like full throttle. <laughs> it's more than I expected, you guys. I did not expect the bike to be this crazy. <laughs> I'm telling you guys. I hope it picks it up, but it literally just like shot like a three foot flame, it sounded like. Oh my gosh! I have to get this thing out at night. I swear to you guys, I bet it's gonna shoot a flame. Ready? Little pull. I'm just being like pretty light on the throttle right now because I'm just trying to see how this bike acts with the uh, with the tune. My first impressions is the front end wants to lift a lot since I got this thing flashed with the exhaust. So I'm just trying to be pretty careful, you know. I just want to take my time and not rush and mess anything up. Oh my gosh, bro. Listen to that right there. That sounds so crazy, bro. When I just hold the RPMs, it literally sounds like a pit limiter. Alright, see a little pull. <laughs> Those pops! I need to do a video where it's just like raw sound. Oh, <laughs> I accidentally just, uh, I accidentally uh, missed second right there. But I'm gonna just play it off like I was just trying to rev. That's not embarrassing. You guys, this is crazy. Dash at the first. Oh. 
I hope you guys enjoy this video because I'm literally going deaf for you guys right now. <laughs> this setup is a hundred percent too loud for the road, but hey, I know it'll do good on social media, so it's uh, it's worth it in that regard. I have to take this thing out at night, guys. I have to. I, I really want to get like a reel of it or like a picture of it just shooting a massive flame while I'm riding it. That would be so sick. And I don't know if these people are about to go do an accident over here. I don't know what they're doing. But I'm going to stay away from that. Oh, <laughs> listen to that. bike is a monster now you guys and I'm gonna do like a full review video on the tune and how the power is and how everything changed but just for this video I just wanted to just be about the exhaust like come on listen like what thing which I need to fix up with the exhaust is the headers do uh, touch like the lower belly pan so I kind of don't want it to catch on fire worst case scenario but I don't want it to like burn a hole or damage anything but it's on this side the belly pan does touch the header um, so I don't know maybe I'll like if I put like a big spacer in one of these bolts on the side, it'll give enough gap. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure that one out or just put like some type of heat protectant. We'll see. But it's like just barely touching, so I think if I put like a spacer uh, where I put the bolts, it'll probably fix it up. But we'll see. if it'll pop. This sounds so mean. Like that's like four or five grand right there. And it sounds like that. I can't even speak in this video. <laughs> I don't even know like if I'm, I said even like one coherent thought or if it's just like me yelling and laughing. I think it's probably the second one. So what do you guys think of the exhaust? Do you like it? Uh, what are your thoughts? I think it's too loud. I know it can't be not loud enough. <laughs> That's one thing for sure. Uh, what do you guys think how it looks? Should I got anything different? And the only thing I messed up on the install, which we corrected, was I did a first start yesterday. I didn't even post it or let anybody know on Instagram, but I did a first start and it sounded like a broken R1. Uh, it's because the header bolts weren't tight enough, so I'm just gonna go straight. So after I did the first start. Bro, <laughs> the pops. Okay, so yeah, after I did the first start, uh, it was just started so messed up, and I was like, no way, like, I messed up the block off plates or something like that, because that would have been okay. I'm about to add eight hours to fix this bike. But no, it was, uh, 
just the header bolts weren't tight enough so I was having like a dual exit exhaust <laughs> I was having exhaust come out of the literal uh, motor up front and I was having to come out of the slip on and it just did not sound right but all it took was just took off the fans real quick in like 10-15 minutes tighten the bolts done and then everything's good so everything seems pretty good now like I said only thing about it was just the fitment is rubbing against the belly pan on the header so it sounds so clean like oh there's a police officer right there oh. I just cleaned my whole bike too. What was I saying? Okay. Um. Oh yeah, also yesterday I tightened my chain because it was like a little bit over 50 millimeters of slack. So I was... Okay, I'm good. Hey, I got the thumbs up of approval. Give him a little rev. That literally sounds like anti-lag right there. <laughs> That's the best way to describe it. It sounds like those twin turbo hurricanes and then you press the button in Florida and it's like the anti-lag and it's like brrrr. When did you just hit that certain RPM? But when I was tightening the chain dude, I don't know why but the rear axle on that bolt <laughs> I don't know what the heck that was that's funny I do not know who those dudes are I don't know why they're waving to me I'm so sorry I keep getting sidetracked yeah, the rear axle nut bolt, dude, it's like torque setting, it's like 81 foot-pounds, and I had my torque wrench, I thought it was broken or something, I literally had it at like 100 foot-pounds, it wouldn't take it off. I had it at 120 foot-pounds, it wouldn't take it off. I put it to like 160 pounds, it still would not take off that bolt. I don't know what the heck happened why that thing was so tight but I somehow got it off and it's all fixed now but it was just ridiculous I thought it was literally about to like just break the bike try to take that thing off park up right here I'm about to go get this workout in do a quick little rev and again, that's like 8, 9k <laughs> it's like halfway through the rev range my ears are literally bleeding right now but yeah this bolt did not want to come off so I don't know who torqued that last or what even happened but that was a pain I'll see if I can show it to you guys right like yeah, right inside here, on my headers, they're like just touching right there. I don't think it'll come across, but they're just touching. So I said to get it to pull out like a quarter of an inch on this piece and it'll be fine. But I don't know. I got to figure that one out. Pray to God it doesn't catch on fire while I'm working out. But yeah, what do you guys think of this system? I think it sounds ridiculous ridiculous and I hope to meet some of you guys in person so you guys can actually hear this thing um, 
like truly with your own ears not just through a camera because this little mic's not going to pick it up at all so i'm gonna go get this workout knocked out all right what's going on you guys i figured i'd just make this video a little bit longer i uh throw it on my gear right now just finished up at the gym and i actually put in some uh, earplugs this time so let's see how well they do against this exhaust being honest I don't think these ones are, are good enough to really help out that much so we'll see what happens almost 1700 miles on this bike it's pretty crazy because I literally got it with almost a thousand less so put about a thousand miles on this bike and month and a half it's like let's listen to this idol man that's how that's how you guys know i really love this bike Cannot wait to get like some people's reactions to this at like a bike meet. That'll make definitely for a really fun video. Earplugs actually do help out a, a bit, I'm not gonna lie. I'm in love with this exhaust, you guys. <laughs> the pumps, I'm telling you. It won't pick it up on the camera. It really won't. But you guys have to take my word for it. It just sounds like big flames coming out this bike. If I ever have like my girl on here, she's sitting back here, her foot's gonna <laughs> completely burn off. Oh, I'm gonna wrap up the video right now, but I will throw in some clips of like my first, first ride starting this thing up yesterday at the end of the video just so you can see like my true first impressions before my official kind of first ride right now so i kind of toss in a few of those right now so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did click the hit the like and subscribe button and i'll catch you guys in the next one ride safe wear your gear peace <laughs> I'm literally like nowhere through the RPMs, bro. This is ridiculous. <laughs> this is so loud, bro. This is so loud. I'm gonna go deaf. <laughs> Yo! That sounded, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude, it sounded like a gun. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> yo, <laughs> I wonder how the camera picked that up. That's crazy, bro.
That's crazy. Oh my gosh. I haven't even gotten it up to like the high RPMs yet. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> I can't believe this.